I'm Joel Bechtel and I'm a cellist and teacher and a D'Addario artist. And I'd like to talk to you briefly about one of the most important left hand technical elements that can help your playing be more easy and more accurate. And it has to do with a part of the hand that you may not think about very much, particularly when you're playing in the neck positions, and that is the thumb. The thumb is not technically in use when you're playing in the neck positions, but it certainly has a uh, the potential to hinder your playing if you if you keep it tense and in the wrong position. So I'd like to point out a little tip that if you take it to heart will make your practicing and your performing much smoother, much more effortless, and overall more successful. The hand position that I observe really routinely in the majority of students that's a hindrance to their playing is the, um, it includes a thumb that is bent backwards and locked at the base knuckle. You have three knuckles in your left, uh, in each of your, your fingers, left and right hands, and it's obvious in your main fingers, the pinky here, the fourth finger on the cello has three knuckles, one, two, three, and the same is true for all the other fingers. Generally we regard our thumb as having only two knuckles, one and two. But that's a misconception. There's a third knuckle down here. And the reason we tend not to recognize that as a knuckle is because we're not flexible there. And a knuckle is a place where you're flexible. So we need to get to where we're flexible here. When we lock our thumb in position like this, this is the hand position we see. When you see it on the cello, it looks like this. And sometimes the finger is further back like this. And that's a hand position that's not doing you any favors. First of all, you'll notice from the front that when my hand is in that position, and I didn't do this on purpose, this is naturally how my hand turned out when I used this hand position, my fingers are not evenly spaced. So I have maybe a little more than a whole step between one and two, a lot less than a whole step between two and three, and something approximating a whole step between three and four. It's not gonna result in in-tune playing. That is why a lot of students play out of tune, because their thumb is locked in position. If I unlock the thumb and I get the rounded position, there are many pedagogical terms for this. Some people say pretend you're holding an apple or a can of soda or something like that. Or I've also heard hamburger hand, which I kind of like because um, presuming that you eat and enjoy hamburgers, you have your thumb underneath the hamburger so it doesn't fall to the ground. But if you squish, your hamburger is just going to turn into mush in your hand. So a hand that would be appropriate for holding a sandwich or something like that is more also more appropriate for playing the cello. One of the things that a relaxed hand can do successfully in addition to playing in tune and shifting comfortably that a tight hand with a locked base knuckle of the thumb can't do is trill. So if I lock my hand like this and try to trill <laughs> If I'm a novice, I, I wouldn't be able to trill with, with a regular speed or with, with a fast speed at all. But when I unlock that thumb and put my hand in the, in the, in the more relaxed position, now you don't want all your trills to necessarily be that fast, but you want to be able to do it, and you want to be able to do it without a lot of preparation. Let me show you the example. Uh, of an excerpt that I was practicing when I discovered this. It's from the third box suite. So, you don't have a lot of time. It's an eighth note, and it's a, a little passing trill like that. And if your hand is tight and you're not able to drill quickly, you have to slow down to get the trill turns in there or you just don't get the trill turns in. So for that and for any of a number of other reasons, for trilling, for even spacing of the fingers, for ease of shifting, remember there are three knuckles in your thumb and all three of them have to be flexible when you're playing. So that if you see this, what some people call banana thumb, a back, a back turned thumb like this, you're doing it wrong. And Everything you do is more effortful and less successful. Keep that thumb joint loose.